My message this time is triumphant victory. I have a question for you. Do you have victory in every area of your life? Think about that. The Bible tells us that we can. The Apostle Paul wrote in his first letter to the Corinthian church, Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's 1 Corinthians 15, 57. Oh, what a promise. He gives us the victory. Yes, he does. Jesus is the victor himself, and he gives us the victory. The reason that Paul could make such a promise is that Jesus has already won the victory for us. Yes, he has. He has already done it. He came, he took on our sin, and he died in our place. Then he arose triumphant from the grave. Hallelujah! This is the Easter message. He arose. He lives. He is triumphant over death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah! Jesus indeed is our victor. We read in the book of Romans, If God be for us, then who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things, all things, yes, and in all these things we are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. We are not just victors. We are not just conquerors. We are more than conquerors. More than. That is Romans 8, 31, 32, and 37. We are not just victorious then through Jesus, but we are more than conquerors. He came to do away with sin by the sacrifice of himself. He has already defeated the devil once and for all time. And he has already arisen from the grave. He rose triumphant, triumphant from the grave. If we put our faith in him as having done that, then we can be more than conquerors by partaking in his resurrection life. Resurrection life that is full of that same power that rose, that uh, caused Jesus uh, to arise from the dead. That same resurrection life. We get to be partakers of that. At which point we can truly say, Thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 2, 14. We can be victors through Him and by putting our faith and our trust in Him as Savior and Lord and as that one who took on our sin 
and died in our place by appropriating our faith in that way. We can have his life, his resurrection power, and we can have triumphant victory. Make this the prayer of your heart. Lord Jesus, I thank you for taking on my sin, for dying for me. I believe that you defeated the devil and that you arose from the dead. Triumphant. I believe that you did. I thank you that I now have victory through you. Fill me with your life and your spirit. In your name I pray. Amen.